welcome back to the channel. It's me, Engine Hall. Today we're gonna do an update on our BD20. If you're looking to add the trimmer to your BD20, I got you covered. Now online, you might see the manual, but the manual need to be a little updated, but you know what, I got you covered. So what we're gonna do is, you gotta go online, and you gotta look up DigiKings here. That's the name of the company. You look them up online, and you're gonna order these guys here. So it look like got the three legs here are ready to are ready to go plot right in to your BD20 which is right here and what I do you had the soldering and the legs go right in place and you just got to cut them off to make them fit so this goes to a bigger project that I'm working on here on the model railroad and also you got freight cars so with this and that kind of common I'm gonna show you in a few moments now you got your BD20 there with your trimmer and you got your 20 gauge wire this is what I'm using here got the colors and you gonna need these here these are uh, resistors here from Amazon we'll post that on the picture there here we got these uh, pins also get from uh, Amazon from circuit works it's a nickel conductive pin and this is the overcoat pen and green it's the item numbers here if you're interested in getting those there for this project and we have this truck here i'd like to show you guys how to uh add these together we'll start off identifying which is the isolated wheel and which is the wheel that's uh not isolated so i'm gonna zoom in here for you you're gonna take a look and see how a uh, metal axle with the metal wheels and metal and metal goes together it will shirt out your rubber but we don't want that so you see this hot side here that has the uh, plastic around the axle and onto the wheel so you want to take your green overcoat pen or you can use any uh, CA glue So let me do is put this overcoat pen here. Put all, now for the, there's two different kinds. There's the metal axle and the plastic one. So you gotta make sure you know this one you're doing. So you wanna short out your uh, railroad. So I'm gonna sit that there and I let that dry for the uh, moment. But I'm gonna go to other models that I've been um, working on here. To, uh, show you how it uh, looks. Like if you had a metal, on wheels with plastic axles you can um, basically put that in the middle here and stick your resistor right on top of it but here's the thing how do you get the electricity to go through that resistor out to the other end to create that um, that draw power easy bend this down here got you covered now there's lots of ways you can do this you can do with this nickel conductive pin here so you take your uh, nickel pin here and just basically go here on this side of the resistor draw it up and let it touch the wheel that's one side that's connected now on the other side here you do the same way come down and let it touch the back of the wheel all right and ain't got to ain't gotta be pretty as long as it gets done. Make sure we got a good connection here. Straight line. And let it touch that wheel. Like that. Yeah, I'm gonna do some more on the side here. There you go. As long as it touches. Now we have another car here that needs to be uh, connected. So you also can use this electric paint here that you can get this off of uh, Amazon also. And I gotta open up here. And we're gonna take a toothpick or a brush if you have one available or handy nearby that you can use. So you're gonna use this uh, pink brush here. Dipping in this black paint to the side. And we basically wanna connect it. So here, 
touching a little bit on the side and put it on the back of the wheel. On the other side here, the same thing as well. So with this paint, you, all, you have great coverage here on this uh, black paint here. And there you go. So it's been connected. Looks pretty good. We'll take a look uh, how well does it work. So I got my non-volt battery, got a plus, minus side there, and vice versa here. So this is the put this here first. Let me see the LED. So I got these outlet clips to hold it so you can see the light. And we're gonna place our battery on the paint and see what we get. Oh, there you go. Wow. Now we've got the uh, green pin here. If you can see that there, let it uh, set up a little bit so it's a little dry. Then we're gonna just simply go grab our resistor. Like so, we got it here. And you want to remember, lay the one end of the resistor on top of the wheel and another end on the axle, just like that. Ooh. Try to get it in there just like that. Now we have an older wheel here, the old brass wheel axle here. Now I want me to take a look here that we identify which axle is uh, protected by the plastic there so the wheels will not connect, conduct electricity, but we had to change that. So to do that, what I did was, you can have some glue here. I, I used this uh, super, glue ju super glue gel. <laughs> And I got my resistors out here ready to go. But there's a specific way you gotta put this on there, okay? So let me get this out, zoom this in here so you can uh, see it. Now, I got the glue there, but you gotta sit it on the, the lip and on the wheel of the. So let me do it here. So yeah, drop down. Right here, you gotta sit it on the lip. Like that. Cause, Cause we don't have to connect this wheel to this side of the uh, resistor. If you can see that there. So I got a little glue on top of it, which shouldn't affect anything. But um, you're gonna take a look at that, how this lays up on there. Just like that. Oops. Now the glue has dried here using our the super glue method here. And we're gonna take our black or a conductive paint here, and this is gonna make the connection. And after that, you will be knocking down the uh, signals there on your uh, model railroad or working in conjunction with your BD20 